16.8c, Distance and Revenue Problems, Distance. The distance equation is rate times time equal to distance. To solve, just like we did with um, our revenue problems, we divide by what we want to solve for. Our setups are very similar. So in example one, we have a man rode his bike to a park 60 miles away. So we have rate times time equal to 60. And on the return trip, he went two miles per hour slower. So we have the rate minus two, and which made the trip take an hour longer. So we have the time plus one equal to 60. Here's our two equations, our two unknowns. The question is how fast did he ride to the park? So we want to um, solve for rate, so that's what we're going to divide by. So we're going to take the rate times the time equal to 60, and we're going to divide by r. So we get that t equals 60 over r. And then we're going to take the rate minus 1 times our t plus 1 equal to 60, and we're going to divide that by, whoops, that's supposed to be a 2 there, sorry, our r minus 2. And so we're now going to have t plus 1 equal to 60 over r minus t. Substitute this in. And we now have 60 over r plus 1 equal to 60 over r minus 2. We'll multiply by the LCD, which is r times r minus 2. And we're going to get 60 times r minus 2 plus r times r minus 2 equal to 60r. So we now have 60r minus 120 plus r squared minus 2r equal to 60r. We have 60r on both sides of the equation. That means when we subtract one side, that will disappear. So we now have r squared minus 2r minus 120. That's going to equally or easily factor to r minus 12. Whoops, supposed to be r r plus 10 equal to 0. r plus 10 will give us a negative number, so we don't want that. So we get r equals 12 miles per hour. And we have our solution. In example 2, we have, after driving through a construction zone for 45 miles, a woman realized that if she had just driven 6 miles per hour faster, she would arrive 2 hours sooner. So we have rate times time equals 45. And we have rate plus 6, because she was going faster. And 2 hours sooner means that she traveled 2 hours less, so t minus 2, and still the 45. So solving for, or we want to solve for r, so we're going to divide by r, so we're going to get t equals to 45 over r, and then we're going to divide this equation by r plus 6. So we'll now have t minus 2 equal to 45 all over r plus 6. Substitute in for our t, and we're going to have 45r 
minus 2 equal to 45 over r plus 6. Multiply r and r plus 6 to get rid of our denominators. And we now have 45 times r plus 6 minus 2 times r times r plus 6 equal to 45, whoops, that's supposed to be a 5, r. So we now have 45 r plus 270 minus 2r squared minus 12r equal to 45r. Our 45r's are go to 0, so now we have negative 2r squared minus 12r plus 270 equals 0. Let's divide this all by negative 2. Makes it easier to factor. So we have I, r squared plus 6r minus 135 equal to 0. This will factor as r plus 15, r minus 9 equal to 0 r plus 15 gives us a negative rate, which is not possible. And so we're going to get that our rate is 9 miles per hour.